This episode of Shot Mechanics is brought to you by Deuce Brand, cutting edge wristwear designed specifically for athletes and performance. Look good, play good with Deuce Brand. Check out the full collection at deucebrand.com. Hi, I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com, and this is the Chris Paul Sham God Counter. Now, if you haven't watched the original Chris Paul Sham God tutorial, pause this video real quick and hit the annotation in the upper left hand corner. That way you can get caught up. Now that we all know the basic Sham God move, let's learn the counter that works really, really well, especially if you're against quicker defenders and you don't have as much space in between you and them. Again, if you enjoy what we do, show us a little love with a like, comment, and a subscription. It helps the channel grow and we couldn't be more thankful for it. Again, to show our gratitude, click the annotation in the upper right hand corner and get a free copy of our 10 minute shooting trainer. Hundreds of people have been benefiting from the 10 minute shooting trainer and we want to give it to you as a little thank you for being such great fans. All right, but enough about that. Let's get into the Chris Paul Sham God counter. The Sham God counter move begins just like the original. It can be done off a high pick like this play or in the open court. So notice that this time the second defender is much closer. So Chris doesn't bounce the ball as far out as he does on the original Sham God. He then swipes the ball back across with his opposite hand, keeping it nice and low below his knees. As the defender stabs to react, CP3 hits him with a quick crossover below his knees again, changing directions. Change of speed and change of direction is really what sells this move. Then to finish him off, just get your hips by the defenders. All right, so the three main keys that you want to remember. Number one, you want to push the ball out, but not as far as you would on the normal original sham guy. This is because quicker defenders will still react to it just the same way, and if you push it too far out, they might take it from you. Key number two, try to keep that swipe dribble low, below your knees if possible. That way, it's nice and low and the defender can't get a hand on it. And number three, a quick counter crossover that stays below your knees, exploding your hips by theirs. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And if you love CP3 and want to see some more Chris Paul videos, check out one of our annotations over here on the side. And don't forget, you can also check out our 10 minute shooting trainer because the game is always and will always be about getting buckets. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.